Hey, what's up? It's Zach here, and today I'm going to show you how to speed up your audio editing process using an auto quantization macro in Cubase. Check it out. All right, <clears throat> let's get started. We are going to go up to the key commands window and we're going to click on show macros. Now we're going to create a new macro. We'll call it quantization. You can call it whatever you want. And we're going to have to add three commands to make this macro work. So the first command is called create warp tabs from hit points. Once you have found it here, add it as a command. Perfect. Our second command is going to be audio warp quantize. We're going to add that. And now we're going to add it again. Now the reason why I have audio warp quantize in there twice is because I find sometimes it doesn't fully quantize the audio with just one audio warp quantize in there. So I'm going to put two in just to be safe. The last step is to add a key command to your macro. So we're going to go back up to this window and look for macros right here. And your macro should be right there. All right, I'm going to put in alt one. And there is to it. So go ahead and click OK. And let me tell you how this thing works. The macro quantizes a highlighted audio event based off of what your quantize is set to in Cubase. So I'd recommend setting up some hotkeys to switch between the various quantization lengths to make quantizing your edits much faster. So essentially what this means is don't use this macro on audio events that are played in 16th note triplets while your snap slash quantize is set to standard 16th notes. It won't work properly. Also, this function only works with audio that has well-defined hit points played relatively accurately to the grid. Not enough sharp transients or too sloppy playing won't work with this method, but it can give you a starting point where you can go in and manually edit the hit points. And just in case you don't like what the auto quantize has done, to remove the process, simply hit the unstretch audio key command. Do be warned though, this macro, once applied, will snap your audio event to the nearest grid line, and the unstretch audio command will not compensate for this. And there you have it. Hopefully this helps you folks out with your editing. And if anyone knows which menu the unstretched audio command is located in, please let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching.